Hey everybody, this is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. I have here today a lithium-ion battery spot welder and I am finishing up my final review and final thoughts on this today and there's a good reason I have this on my main channel here because this has everything to do with my off-grid project because with this little device I can take battery packs like these weld them together into larger larger battery banks which will then power my home and my workshop my goal is to by end of spring have a fully off-grid workshop but enough about that that is uh, my main videos this today is about this little conveniently small portable lightweight very lightweight and handy spot welder I will be reviewing this more in detail later on my electronics channel as I go along making batteries so you'll be seeing this all the time in the future as we go but right now I just want to share this with everybody on my main channel because off-grid living means batteries and batteries you got to be able to build them put them together and this after very 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 much time and consideration I chose this one for its price and its capabilities and its convenience now in the kit you get a foot pedal which is convenient no stressing about how am I gonna press the button when holding the electrodes so that goes down here under the table for me I'm trying to do this without putting a shadow in my way as we go and it comes with I couldn't figure out what that was at first but after messing around and reading instructions I realized that's sandpaper for cleaning the electrode tips as they get used they'll blacken up a little bit and you'll need to clean them now something very convenient let me put this back out of my way is that these electrodes are uh, adjustable by turning the screw here and you can slide them in and out and they're replaceable it's just a little copper you could probably take a piece of solid um, core copper wire if in a pinch if you had to replace them but you can obviously buy leads they're, they're not expensive and you can buy replacement electrodes for that uh, I love the, the convenience of how simple that goes there to adjust them now I might have to change the angle but also here they also give you a fair amount of nickel wire uh, strips for experimenting practicing and welding with now I think I'll turn this to be easier so I don't get in my own light I have here a scrap battery we'll be experimenting with in a minute there's a power switch and there's some convenient instructions on the top that tells you if you're dealing with 0.1 millimeter, 0.15 and 0.2 millimeter thickness of strips. And that is helpful. It tells you where to adjust it because without that I'd be lost. So you turn it on and there's a voltage display which tells the voltage of the onboard battery. And it says here never to run it down below 7.3 volts. Then you're supposed to charge it at that point. When you turn it on, there is a red light that indicates that it is on and ready. And you can set this up to all the way from 1 to 10. And that's your power rating for your welding. So I'm going to set this on 5. I'm going to go a little tiny higher than 5 because I'm dealing with um, the 0.1 millimeter strips. Now I'm going to bring over a wire uh, battery that ha is um, what I consider defective only because it's been smashed. I don't, uh, I don't use batteries that are damaged in any way. But for today's experimentation purposes, that's uh, perfectly fine. Now I'm going to take a little bit of wire and lay it out flat so I can handle it. And get these out of my way. I'm going to put this wire down on here on the lead I have unfolded this this is not how the battery comes I unfold them for my own purposes for building my battery banks 
All right, I'm gonna press these leads down to where I want them. Don't touch them together, but touch them to your work surface. You don't have to press hard or anything, and I'm gonna press my foot on the pedal and watch. It's gonna take a half a second for that to react. I press now, boom, it's welded. And that's on there really good. Um, I don't know if I can get it, the light on the, on the dash blinks. I don't know if I can catch that angle, but the light blinks. Now I'm going to cut that off. This is just a junk battery, but you can see that's, that's on there. That's, I mean, that's really on there. Let me cut that off short. I'm just using junk batteries for today for demonstration purposes, but later on my electronics channel when I'm building battery banks, we're going to be doing the real deal here and you'll get to see some really cool stuff going on. So I will be using this extensively with time. And so you guys can check that out later on the electronics channel. Let's see if I can get a better angle here for y'all. These leads are quite safe and harmless when you are not pressing the pedal. And then the voltage updates every time after you've pressed, after you've uh, done a weld, it's gonna show you the current voltage again. Let me see if I can get my hands in here without blocking, because I really want to show you that display. It's awkward. And at the same time, get these leads on here. Let me press the pedal and watch that. Boom. It's welded. And it went down a tiny fraction. Yeah, that's welded on. It's that simple. I've been experimenting with puffed out and other dead, not charged batteries. And um, that that does not come off that is on there unbelievable i mean I, I will break the tabbing off the battery itself if i try to remove that with any more force than i'm doing i tried peeling it doesn't come off these welds are really really impressive on there so they say on your site uh fully charged this can weld thousands of of spot welds. I'm not sure. There's no way on earth I'm going to run it that long in one sitting. Um, there is a convenient charger. I don't know how far I've run it down, but if you turn it off, you can get US or European connection. When you plug it in, an LED comes on. Ignore that when you first plug it in. But when you plug that into the power over here, the indicator turns red, and that is your status of charge, actually. When it is done charging, that will turn green, letting you know that your battery is fully charged. I like that feature. So there's an automatic control circuit inside the charger itself. Now watch, when I unplug it, it'll show green. That's just its default status when you first plug it into the machine. But as soon as you put it into power, it turns red, letting you know that it is charging. When it's done, it will turn green. So there is the Banggood 5000W spot welder. Everything you get, either a US or European charger, sandpaper, a lot of practice strips, and the device itself with a convenient foot pedal that is permanently affixed but that makes it incredibly convenient to use so you can do quite a bit with this you can do 18650s you can do these flat packs like I'm I've been welding recently very very firm weld that is not coming off for anything so again, keep an eye on my electronics channel, the do-it-yourself world electronics for future use of this as I'm building battery banks. That'll be later on. You will see this uh, probably quite often in the coming weeks, months, years, whatever, because that's the only thing I need, honestly. That's going to do the job for me for, for all the battery banks that I need to build. That's it. Due to my um, illness and my slow recovery, um, this is a little bit late, this product review. There is a flash sale sale going on that is 50% off at this time. There's a couple days left. I'm going to get this video up right away, and you guys can go ahead and buy it. Check out the links down below, 
and get yourself one of these. Anybody who's interested in working with building your own battery banks and lithium ion flat packs, 18650s, flat packs like these, um, welding the 18650s and making your own battery packs. This is all you're going to need right there. And as you can see, it's very conveniently sized. I read uh, things about people, some people with the bigger machines having trouble with blowing out their circuit breakers. Absolutely not with this because it has its own built in battery pack, which is convenient. And I don't think I'm going to do a thousand wells before or in one sitting. So. Definitely sufficient for me. Check it out, guys. And please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for future stuff. I'm going to be building some off grid battery packs at the homestead. This is Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project. Checking out a cool product for the homestead. Talk to you later.